I share a lot of dog food recipes and a lot of them are for dogs with specific needs. So certain ailments or um, joint problems, dogs that have a sensitive stomach, all kinds of different needs across the spectrum. This is just a healthy homemade diet for dogs. It's kind of a base recipe that you could feed the average dog. You want to make sure that you run it past your veterinarian or a canine nutritionist. They'll give you some insight onto supplements or a multivitamin that may be needed to provide your dog with 100% balanced nutrition. That's very important. But as I mentioned, it's, it's really good for the average dog and it sort of starts as a base layer. You can add different things if your dog has different needs, but this is a really great place to start. This homemade dog food recipe is made on the stove top. So here I have a large saucepan. I'm going to turn it on to medium heat and I'm gonna add all of my ingredients or most of my ingredients actually to the saucepan. So first I have a pound of ground beef. I have two cups of dry quinoa. I have a tablespoon of organic butter. On this plate, and it's kind of hard to see because of the glare, but I have a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of wheat germ, a teaspoon of brewer's yeast, and a tablespoon of calcium citrate. And the last thing I'm going to add before I cook it is a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Now I'm going to cover all of the ingredients with water just until it covers the top. And then I'm going to let this simmer, and uh, or I'm going to actually bring it to a boil, and then I'm going to let it simmer, and I'm going to let it simmer for 20 minutes. I'm going to stir occasionally and just break that ground beef up. And then once this is finished cooking, I am going to um, come back and add just a few more ingredients before it's finished. Now that the food is cooked, you can see that the water has all been absorbed. And I'm gonna add a few final ingredients. So the first is one cup of grated carrots. I have a tablespoon of flaxseed oil. Two tablespoons of organic plain yogurt. And you wanna make sure that you're using plain yogurt, um, not vanilla flavored. The vanilla flavored yogurt has uh, artificial flavors and a lot of sugar that your dog doesn't need. And then finally I have a teaspoon of ground ginger and a teaspoon of turmeric. And you wanna use turmeric that you get from like the pharmacy aisle as a supplement. You don't wanna use cooking turmeric because those are two different things. So while this is still warm, I'm just gonna mix these together. And then once it cools, you can feed it to your dog. For serving size recommendations, just click the link below the video. It'll take you to my written guide and all of the serving size information as well as uh, the nutritional facts are there for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video recipe.